Hello guys, welcome back to this channel and today I will be sharing my interview experience at IIT BHU where I had applied for the PhD program. So I will be sharing my complete interview details and all the various things which happened for the PhD program. So let's begin the video. First of all, let me share about my GATE score because this PhD program we can only apply on the basis of GATE score. So I wrote GATE examination in the year 2025 and uh, I had secured 456 score in this GATE examination. My written marks is 34 marks and I wrote this examination from the electronics branch EC. Now coming towards the PhD program, I had applied on the basis of my GATE score and uh, I received an mail from HOD of electronics department regarding the further process of this PhD program means all the candidates who had uh, means uh, cleared the minimum eligibility criteria for this PhD program must have received individual mails. So one mail was given that on 12th of May we had a short uh, written test and on 13th of May we had uh, interview for this PhD program. So first let's move to this 12th of May, what happened on 12th of May. So on 12th of May, I was asked to reach the electronics department at 9 a.m. sharp and um, it was given that we'll be having a short uh, quiz type of paper at 2 p.m. So reaching at 9 and till 2 p.m. means all the students were gathered in a classroom and we were just discussing here and there all this stuff. And at 2 p.m., two, three uh, members came and they distributed a quiz paper. We were advised to attempt the 50 questions which were there and there were no negative marks. And the overall thing that why this quiz was taken was just to check a brief knowledge. Means there was not some merit list kind of thing for this quiz paper. There was a minimum cutoff which we had to clear and uh, First, let me tell you about the topics asked in this quiz. So the important topics were three, four topics were mainly focused in this quiz. Uh, on the top, it was digital and uh, on second, it was basic analog and uh, basic communication was also asked and some factual questions were there related to overall electronics. Means it was kind of very doable and easy paper. It was not at the kind of gate level thing. So after completing the paper at 3.30, we were asked to wait till 5 p.m. because at 5 p.m. the result would be declared. And uh, let me tell you how many students were there. So around 21 or 22 students wrote that particular quiz. And at 5 p.m. the result was declared and uh, 20 students were shortlisted for the interview which was scheduled on next day. So I was also shortlisted for the interview. I'll just... Uh, pin the image here so you can check it out and uh, let's move to 13th of May. On 13th of May, uh, it was clearly mentioned in the mail that uh, we have to reach at 9 a.m. in the morning and uh, we will be having a document verification. After the document verification, the interview will begin. So first of all, we had to reach on time means on 9 a.m. So after reaching, I think it was a microwave lab. All the students were gathered there and document verification were going on. Some of the documents were asked, means it would be provided on the mail, but I would also like to share that what were the documents needed. So the documents are uh, your application form, means uh, the application form which you must have received after uh, filling the PhD program on official website. Thereafter, you have to also bring the GATE scorecard and uh, after GATE scorecard, you will also need to bring medical certificate. The medical certificate format would be provided by, uh, it would be there in the ma uh, mail and thereafter, uh, the basic things like 10th, 12th and uh, graduation mark sheet and all those stuff. And if someone has completed their master, then they have to bring that thing also our identification proof thing like pen or other something like that we have to bring the original one and also a photocopy of it 
so these were the some basic things means which were checked in the document verification and uh, suppose if someone is missing any of the documents then there is no need to worry much um, we have to write a, we have to fill a, a separate application form which will be provided there so means you will be given a, a short interval of time means in few days that you can provide in future those missing documents now this document verification was completed at around 11:30 for me and all the students were going one by one for the interview and after 11:30 i was waiting for my interview discussing with other candidates uh, those who have given the interview and there was a lunch break at around 1 or 1:30 pm for around 30 to 40 minutes so we had lunch and after that uh, again i was waiting roaming here and there and uh, at around 3:30 pm i was called for the interview means uh, i think i was the third or fourth last candidate who was interviewed and around a total of i feel uh, 18 candidates gave came for the interview so i entered the room it was a kind of conference room and in the conference room around 22 to 24 faculties were sitting there means all the assistant professors associate professor professors actually everyone was sitting and you would be sitting at the center means a chair will be provided and a mic was there and behind me was a smart board for writing something and just in front of me all the 24 faculties in a u shape manner and <laughs> it was a kind of new experience for me because this particular kind of interview was very new because 24 panel members and anyone could ask any question from here and there you can just hear the voice and later you will to see that who is speaking so i entered and uh, first of all the hod would ask the preference order what would be the preference of uh, phd so he will be uh, giving four options and uh, we have to reply with the priority wise so i gave priority for vlsi and the second priority was digital so he said okay and the interview began so first question i was asked that i have to draw the inverter using nmos so it's a kind of very basic question but at that point of time i was not able to draw on the smart board so yeah f- the, then after that uh, i was asked the difference between uh, flip flop and lashes so it's very basic question i gave the differences and thereafter some uh, easy questions on sr lash and uh, thereafter i was also asked uh, uh, yeah Uh, what is difference between a synchronous and asynchronous clock and uh, i was also asked to demonstrate the reset button in the uh, flip flops using the synchronous and asynchronous what are the differences in it and uh, thereafter i was asked to draw a four variable k map four variable k map then one professor asked me that uh, what would happen if uh, all the f- 16 entries are filled with one then what would be the output so very basic thing uh, thereafter he asked me that okay shakti uh, as you have numbered 00011110 then why it came as 01211 why not 01210 and at last 11 uh, so it's a kind of basic question means the logic is behind the gray coat thing but at that point of time i was not very sure that why this happens so i took a uh, time to think then i honestly replied sorry sir i can't recall right now and uh, yeah these were the questions and uh, some more questions were also asked yeah one professor started asking me regarding caching that what is cache and uh, then he asked uh, uh, if we want to retrieve data from primary memory and cache then which would be faster so i replied there after the same professor asked me that what is the difference between microcontroller and microprocessor give me one difference and one similarity so another professor countered me that is microprocessor inside microcontroller or microcontroller inside microprocessor so yeah these were the some of the questions and uh, 
later on one professor asked me that uh, have you done fabrication before so i replied no sir i didn't have exposure to fabrication work but uh, i did some work but uh, due to covid i was not able to do the fabrication part at my institute so they asked me about my project what i made in the final year of my btech on the project so i gave my project title so means this was all for my interview thereafter they asked me to just leave the room and i left and yeah this was the overall interview experience uh, after just i think one week the final result would be declared for this phd program and i'll notify you guys that what happened to this phd result i would also like to share that uh, bit by bit we have completed 160 subscribers which is very less as compared to many other youtube channels but for me it's a great achievement and i'll be consistent posting videos on this youtube channel if you are new to this channel then do hit the subscribe button and uh, if you learn something new then just like this video so that i get motivated to make uh, more these kind of videos and if you have any doubt then just comment it down and i'll be replying each and every comment See you soon in the next video. Bye. Vayu kati se yudh kare aur Arjun ke jab teer chale jab teer chale Gandhi vase to na veer dikhe na teer dikhe fir veer shur veer koi bhide wo pal pal mittu se hi dare wo kape thar thar samne manjar manjar mittu ka hi dikhe Mahadev ko bhi jo kar de prasann hai bhuja mein aisa bahu bal wo roop se mohit kar de urvashi buddhi se bhi chatur chapal hua na jag mein dhan aur dhari jo dhananjay ko kar de parast wo shabd bhedi sad baan aise andhkar mein bhi kar de ta kha kha aar paar kar bar bar jab jab sun yudh की ललकार और एक बार मिले आवाहन फिर तो होता नरसंहार भारत पे संग ले नारायण ध्वजा पे बिठाए मारुति दी धर्म की रक्षा की खातिर अपनों के प्राणों की आहुति